Hello, for this week's video I've just decided to do a quick fix it video. So this little fishy right here isn't something that I've sculpted myself, it's just a store bought mass produced cast resin sculpture that unfortunately due to a tropical storm we had a little while back had blown over and was damaged due to the fall. So for this video I am going to fix it. The first thing I do when starting to fix this little guy is to take some aluminum foil and just add it to the base of the broken parts of the mouth. And you can see that I'm just adding a couple little drops of hot glue to the corners just to ensure that the aluminum foil doesn't move around when I eventually build on top of it with the clay. Now I am going to be using a resin based clay and that is because this is going to be an outdoor sculpture and I want to make sure that the material I use is going to be strong enough and will be able to weather the elements of being outside all the time. You can see here I'm taking both A and B parts of the resin based clay. One is gray and the other is white and I'm just grabbing two equal size little balls and then kneading them together until the two colors become one and I'm ready to apply to the surface. Now for this particular project I don't need to use a lot of the resin and I try to make a little bit go a long way by adding the aluminum foil as my base. The aluminum foil acts as a filler and it eliminates the need to needlessly waste the resin and it saves on some of the cost. Now the resin that I'm adding will completely blanket over the aluminum foil so it doesn't really matter that I'm using a filler as opposed to going in with just straight resin. I just continue to build up the surface with the resin clay until I'm happy with the overall look and just upon inspection of the original sculpt I did notice a couple little air bubbles from when it was originally cast so since I had the material out already I just decided to fill those in and I will go back and touch those up with a little bit of paint once the resin is fully hardened. Once I had applied all of the resin based clay to the sculpture and was happy with the overall look, I just used a little bit of water and my fingers to kind of smooth out the surface just to eliminate the need for a lot of sanding once the material actually hardened. After letting the sculpture sit for a little while and letting it harden up, I just needed to sand slightly and then it was ready to go in and paint. Now I didn't want to have to paint the entire sculpture all over again, so I just focused on the places that needed slight touch up and obviously the places that I rebuilt. So I just did my best to kind of custom mix a couple of acrylics to kind of match the pre-existing colors and I just went right in with the paint. I did a couple different layers. I started with a uh, bluish black and then I kind of just feathered in the gold here and there until I was happy with the overall paint job. So I think I did fairly well in terms of fixing this fish. I would say that he looks like he never broke to begin with and I'm pretty happy with the work. Just as a finishing step, I did go in with a sealer and I just sprayed it with a non-gloss sealer just because it is going to go back outside. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, bye bye